The true history of ancient Egypt goes back much further than you are taught at school. In today's video, we're going to show you some examples that will shake your historical worldview to its foundations. What can a 7,000-year-old artifact tell us about the actual development of the inhabitants of the pharaohs? And what does the legendary island kingdom of Atlantis play in this? Leave us a like and a subscription, and stick around until the end to see for yourself. History and Reality a quick search reveals that the colossal pyramids of Giza are 4,500 years old. But so that we understand each other correctly, this is only a historical assessment. When exactly the world-famous monumental buildings were built cannot be said with conclusive certainty. But that's not all. As is well known, we can't even clearly prove which construction techniques the ancient Egyptians used in their incomparable projects. Against the background of these unsolved mysteries, those technical texts dealing with the Egyptian past are all too often accompanied by words like about, estimated, and presumably. And this is where things start to get strange. Some discoveries suggest the revolutionary conclusion that the ancient Egyptian pyramids are actually significantly older than experts realize. And we are not talking about an age deviation of a few decades or centuries. We are moving in the order of thousands of years. To understand what this, let's call it a confident claim, is all about, let's take a closer look at an ancient artifact most of you have probably never heard of, the Nubian egg. Mysterious Find it's 1907 when British archaeologist Malaby Cecil Firth uncovers an ancient tomb of the Nakata culture in Sudan's Nubian Desert. Historically, this people is placed in the Chalcolithic period, which preceded the dynastic era of Egypt. Thus, the Nakata culture developed in Upper Egypt at the beginning of the 4th millennium BC spreading to Lower Egypt over the next 1,500 years. The British researcher finally found a strange artifact in the aforementioned burial chamber, a decorated ostrich egg, which is adorned with many different depictions. The age of this find was dated to a remarkable 7,000 years. However, one figure clearly stands out from the others, three triangular shapes marked with a series of transverse lines. The assumption that these are the Great Pyramids of Giza seems extremely obvious. However, the conservative experts understandably have difficulty with this interpretation. After all, the ostrich egg is more than 2,500 years older than the world-famous tombs. Controversial Interpretation As a result, the illustrations would only be a mountain range. End of story. But it's not quite that simple. After all, this explanation is overshadowed by a huge question mark. What's with the conspicuous lines? If we then also take a look at the mountains that we find in Sudan, things only get more puzzling. Is the depiction supposed to show us the Doriba Caldera, which is over 3,000 meters high, or another mountain range in the east of the country? The decorations are most reminiscent of the al Taka Mountains. However, this interpretation also requires a lot of imagination. It is difficult to Denny that the extremely pointed structures have great similarities with the Nubian pyramids. However, according to our official state of knowledge, this interpretation is also not permissible. After all, these buildings were only built around 2,000 years after the pyramids of Giza. Alternative Interpretations do the figures, with their subdivided character, remind you of the typical structure of a pyramid? Yes. So do they embody proof that the pyramids of Giza are actually more than 7,000 years old? No. Fortunately, these aren't the only details immortalized on the Nubian egg. Let's look at the zigzag structure to the right of the supposed pyramids. Could it be the Nile? It is well known that the mighty river repeatedly takes a few detours on its way. Exactly as depicted on the egg, the Nile actually lies to the right, or more correctly to the east, of the Giza Plateau. But that's not all. After all, we've only looked at one side of the object so far. On the other side of the artifact is another pyramid-like formation, but accompanied by a different image. Would it be conceivable that we see a scenic reference here again, more specifically, the Fayum Basin? 
an oasis-like structure located southwest of Cairo and west of the Nile. Take a look at both representations side by side and make up your own mind. A Question of Time At this point, we should not leave a circumstance unmentioned. The course and the form in which the Nile presents itself today no longer corresponds to that of 7,000 years ago. As a result, we should also not assume that the Nile depictions on the egg look exactly as current maps reflect. Of course, we are not dealing with detailed mapping, but rather with rudimentary drawings on an ostrich egg. With that sorted out, we can now take a look at perhaps the artifact's most spectacular detail, its top. Atlantis As is easy to see, this spot is adorned with circular rings. Hmm, where could we have seen something comparable before? Well, in an ancient, hotly disputed myth, of course. According to this, the main island of the legendary kingdom of Atlantis is said to have consisted of three rings of water and two rings of land. And although it was the Greek philosopher Plato who first brought the Atlantis legend into circulation, it is clear that the roots of the legend lie in ancient Egypt. Some researchers suspect that Plato himself learned about this tradition in Egypt, despite the fact that Plato's journey to Egypt is controversial and he could not read hieroglyphs. Is it possible then? that the Nubian egg not only reveals the true age of the Egyptian pyramids, but also confirms the existence of an empire that the vast majority of scholars have dismissed as fiction? And what does the artifact actually tell us about the person in whose grave it was placed? Was it a scholar, a merchant, or a traveler who saw the depicted places with his own eyes? The Lost Artifact did you know that only three artifacts were found in the gigantic Cheops Pyramid? Yes, three. A granite ball, a copper hook, and some wood fragments. After the first two objects mentioned were identified in the British Museum some time ago, a few years ago, an employee of the University of Aberdeen finally managed to track down the long-lost pieces of cedarwood. Unbelievable but true, the irreplaceable relics had been dormant in the University Museum the whole time. The pieces of wood, packed in an old cigar box, were wrongly stored in the Asia department. After the gratifying rediscovery, the experts immediately carried out a radiocarbon dating and were left with open mouths. Examination showed that the wood dates from between 3,341 and 3,094 BC, more than 500 years before the reign of Cheops, to whom the pyramid is said to have been dedicated. In fact, due to the range considered, it is even possible that the wood is another 300 years older, or in other words, 800 years older than the assumed age of the pyramids of Giza. Attempts at Explanations But how do the experts try to put the age dating in a comprehensible context? What is a 5,000-year-old piece of wood doing in a 4,500-year-old pyramid? In this regard, the researchers refer to three conceivable scenarios. A less convincing version is that the 500-year-old piece of wood was used in the construction of the pyramid because the material was a very rare commodity in ancient Egypt. If the wood really has been recycled for more than half a millennium, we could learn a lot from the pharaohs when it comes to sustainability. Another approach is based on the fact that the ancient wood was deliberately used to honor the pharaoh Cheops. On the other hand, the theory that says that the cedar tree was already several centuries old when it was felled for wood processing seems a little more realistic. In fact, cedars can live up to 1,000 years. But if we go back to the Nubian egg and the images immortalized on it at this point, wouldn't it be conceivable that the cedar wood was not put into the pyramid 4,500 years ago, but much earlier? Maybe the building is far, far older than we could imagine. The Mysteries of the Sphinx At the end of our video, we dare a little detour to the Sphinx. This monumental hybrid creature, which has watched over the Giza Plateau for thousands of years, is repeatedly consulted when the question of the true age of Egypt is raised. More specifically, we are talking about the countless traces of water erosion surrounding the Sphinx. It is commonly assumed that such heavy and constant rainfall last occurred in Egypt 9,000 years ago. But then, why do we find these natural signatures at a site that was officially created during the reign of Chepren, 
or between the years 2520 and 2494 BC. The fact that the Sphinx has been buried by the sand several times over throughout the centuries adds to this mystery. In detail, the building was only to be uncovered in 1926 up to the stone base. Is the Sphinx a building or a statue? One of the most pressing questions that researchers have is whether or not the Sphinx is simply a large monument or if it may contain something buried deep inside. One of the strangest things that almost anyone will notice about the Sphinx is its unique size and shape. While certain photos make the Sphinx look incredibly large, it's actually quite small when compared to its surroundings. Researchers say that the Sphinx is approximately 20 meters high at its tallest point, meaning it's about 65 feet tall. With this in mind, the paws of the Sphinx are only slightly taller than the average adult male. Interestingly, the proportions of the Sphinx do not match up with a modern lion, meaning that there may be more hidden away inside of the 73-meter-long monument than some researchers would like us to believe. Some historians say that certain ancient documents lead them to believe that the Sphinx could have previously been a mysterious place of worship. Legends began to grow over many years that the Sphinx may have rooms hidden away inside with some researchers saying that ancient texts lead them to believe that the Sphinx is now the dwelling place of a dark entity. Other sources claim that the Sphinx is the home to infinite knowledge, but we just don't know for sure. However, one thing has become abundantly clear to all researchers. Whatever the Sphinx's true purpose was, it was not designed to simply be a beautiful monument. It served an integral purpose in ancient Egyptian culture. We just haven't figured out what that purpose is just yet. How old is the Great Sphinx of Giza? This is where things get incredibly interesting, so buckle up because we're about to take you for a wild ride. How old is the Sphinx? Well, for the moment, we don't know for sure. For many years, history books around the world claim that the Sphinx would have been built sometime during the 4th dynasty. If this is true, then the Sphinx would have been created somewhere between 2520 and 2494 BC, making it just under 5,000 years old today. However, there was never any evidence found that would suggest that this information is accurate. From what we can tell, these estimates were just guesswork by early Egyptologists. However, in the years since these claims, we've learned that there is a large chance the Sphinx is far older than we've been led to believe. If the Sphinx were to have been built around 2500 BC, then it would have been created in the image of King Chepren. However, when researchers began to uncover artistic depictions of this king, they found that the structure bore no resemblance to him whatsoever. This means that the Sphinx must have been built in a different time period. As experts began taking a much closer look at the Sphinx, they learned something else that was just as mysterious. They found evidence of water erosion near the base of the Sphinx. This is important because, as far as we know, this area of Egypt has been a sandy desert for thousands of years. However, if the water erosion at the base of the Sphinx is to be believed, this would mean the Sphinx must have been built many years before Egypt turned into the desert that we know it as today. This would place the construction of the Sphinx as far back as 7,000 to 10,000 years if historians are accurate. However, certain biblical accounts would place the Sphinx somewhere around 6,000 years old. Regardless of which date you believe, one thing is for sure. The Great Sphinx was built many, many years before the pyramids were created. This would mean that the ancient Egyptians we have come to know and love may have created their own history and cities on top of cities that had already existed. Rather than the Sphinx and the pyramids being created by the same people, they were likely created by two entirely different cultures, thousands of years apart. All right, folks, now it's your turn. Do you think that the history of ancient Egypt actually goes back much further than our history books would have us believe? As always, let us know your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Also, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates on the most controversial history riddles of all time. And with that, thanks for watching, have a good one, and see you next time.